it was um, it was pretty close there in the end. Yes. But uh, you held your nerves very well in that third set breaker. What was what was the final difference? Uh, thanks for inviting me here. Always, brother. Oh. Always. <laughs> so at the end, I felt like. Uh, it was a really close match. We were battle, both battling it out, and uh, Jack managed to, to to win the game at 5-4 when I was serving for it. He played a couple of good shots, but uh, at the end, I knew I just could accept it and keep being uh, committed, keep uh, keep fighting, keep trying my best. And uh, I came up with some some good shots at the beginning of the tiebreaker, and I I kept playing some uh, decent tennis out there. Um, are you okay with me calling you Hubie, or should I be calling you Clay Court Specialist Hubie now after uh, the title last week? Well, I think Hubie, Hubie, it's enough. Okay, but, <laughs> but you are playing fantastic tennis on the clay. What I want to know is, has, has something clicked for you where you're more comfortable on the surface, or you just put together a good week last week? Well, funny, funny you say that. Like At the beginning of the tournament, I was struggling so much with the sliding, with everything, and it just uh, was some, sometimes like frustrating on the court because I was trying to do my best, yet I, I was just off balance. But uh, at the end, you just got to accept it and, and be ready for the next point. And I felt like just with each match, I was slowly getting more comfortable, better on the surface. And uh, yeah, and here we are now. So maybe just a little bit of a mental adjustment to continue mm -hmm. to stay positive. Well, definitely that's that's so important because you can ultimately like it's easy just to let go of your emotions and just uh, yeah just just be negative on yourself. But uh, you really gotta battle it out, and then uh, then it becomes uh, more natural as well and easier. Have you um, have you bought Casper his dinner yet? He, he gave well, you not yet. A little bit of a clay court lesson. Yes, practice, definitely. Yeah? No, uh, had a good, uh, good clay court session with Casper. He gave me some tips, and uh, and yet here we are here. So I definitely owe him a dinner, and uh, yeah, maybe maybe on a golf course. He gives me some extra tips as well, and I'll, I maybe practice with him on grass. Um, listen, I, I talked to a bunch of the players who live here, of course, and there are different positives for all of them playing here. But uh, what's the best thing about being able to play uh, where you live here for you? Oh, it's so nice. Just, uh, you know, coming, coming from uh, Estory, like, probably, like, after 1 a.m. on, uh, well, it was already Monday, but uh, it just feels nice to be, be home, like, sleeping in your bed. You just yeah. can relax and uh, definitely feels, like, so much uh, more chill, more relaxed out, uh, out here. You know a lot of people. You have a lot of friends and... Uh, it's just, uh, yeah, the weather is usually beautiful. Maybe not the case today and tomorrow, but uh, should be should be getting better. Well, we're just getting started with the clay court season. It'll be a long run now, leading up to Roland Garros. Because you've started off with so much success, have you have you adjusted your goals at all? <laughs> well, uh, you didn't know what were my goals before that. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's a very good point. That's a very good point. Now they're maybe going to be higher. Well, I always... I always aim super high, and it's uh, that's why sometimes it's difficult because uh, when you want to win all the, you know, when you want to improve your game first of all and uh, give yourself chances of winning the titles, then when it doesn't happen, it's it's tough. But it's just tough, but you just you just battle it out. You stay resilient and. Uh, no, like you at the gym, you just keep pushing. <laughs> Love to see it. Listen, congratulations today. Well done and keep it going. Thank you, Prakash.